We are heading to where no one is interested in traveling anymore. To Palmyra, which was taken recently by ISIL. Not many people would like to be here right now, but soldiers have no choice. For them, this is a fight of utmost necessity. On the way to Palmyra, there is little to indicate that we are closing in on a battlefield. The tight security measures on the way indicate that the Syrian army is taking no chances and is not about to back down. We accompany Syrian officers into the neighboring towns. They plan to stop ISIL's advance and hope to turn the tide from here. The military situation is complicated. It's not easy, but we have a plan to stop the terrorist attack. We estimate that ISIL had over 1,800 militants in the attack. Less than 300 of them are locals. But we are still on the outskirts of the city, and once we regroup a substantial force, things begin to change. But how can a radical group, under constant airstrikes by the U.S.-led coalition, still operate so freely? From Ramadi in Iraq and Syria's Palmyra at the same time, how did the American satellites miss them? The desert is like the palm of hand and militants and their trucks and pickup and tanks are moving. What is this U.S. coalition doing then? But this is not an easy battle. ISIL has taken the city of Palmyra, which was once home to over 100,000 people. The fighting here equals destroying an ancient city. The ruins you can see behind me are the ruins of uh, the ancient city of Palmyra, which dates back to over 3,000 years old. These ruins are part of the ancient city, which, has, which is listed on the United Nations World Heritage Sites list. If you take a look here, you can see the tanks that the Syrian army has established. ISIL is less than one kilometer from where we are standing right now. The smoke uh, that you can see right now is from a car bomb that ISIL just detonated, trying to take one of the checkpoints uh, manned by the Syrian uh, military. The city might be lost, but the battle goes on. The Syrian army ambushes a group from ISIL and returns with spoils of war. AK-47s, machine guns, ammunition, tactical vests, candy bars and Islamic prayer book in Russian. The officer tells us the mark was a Shishin group. The fighting gets more intense and the army orders us to get out of the area immediately. We take a last distant glimpse at the fascinating ruins that is now at the hands of a Takfiri radical group. If ISIL destroys these ruins, then this could be the last image of a civilization that survived thousands of years but fell victim to this war. Allah Ibrahim, Press TV, Palmyra, Central Syria.